Do these five traditional Indian practices keep you cool during the summertime? Well, let's test and see. All right, one of the first things I wanna pick up while I'm down here is a big recommendation from some of the viewers. I've been hearing about using this container to uh, drink a certain liquid. Let's see if I can find it down here. We got our mud pot full of water. Let's let this sit for a while and taste it at the end. We have a lot of Indian members of our audience, so I asked them, what are some traditional ways you stay cool in India during the summertime? We have 166 comments about it and some really great requests. So I got a bunch of things. Also going to answer questions that I had as I was doing this research. Things like, what about spicy food? Does that cool you down or does that heat you up? In America, we might drink a cold beer or have some ice cream. What does that and do? And also, should you drink ice cold drinks or room temperature drinks? We're going to answer that question and more and the answers might surprise you, so stick around. way we can try to stay cooler is by your diet. Now Ayurveda, this healthcare system, if we want to call it that, is thousands of years old, has so much wisdom that is mind-blowing for a guy like myself because it just doesn't, this whole pitta dosha and the other doshas, it's stuff I'm not used to, but let's try it out here. Both Indian sources and Western sources do agree though that eating dishes full of water Helps keep you cool. For instance, like watermelon. Watery foods are easier to digest, so your body isn't working really hard and raising your body temperature. Another good food to eat is muskmelon. Now in Ayurveda, muskmelon has cooling properties. This helps flush out toxins. Another watery food is cucumber. Cucumbers are 95% water, so they can also hydrate you. One second. A couple other popular remedies to stay cool are spiced buttermilk glasses. There was also a study done of workers out in the hot sunshine. They were either given no hydration or some buttermilk with water. When the subjects drank the buttermilk, they sweated less and had the perception that they weren't as uncomfortable or hot and stinky and smelly and terrible and life sucked. It also mitigated heat strain among the subjects. The most popular recommendation from the audience was a tender coconut water. Unlike the other drinks and fruits, coconut water is going to hydrate you. It's also full of plenty of healthy, good vitamins, minerals, electrolytes. It's like nature's Gatorade. All right, let's see if these foods are actually cooling. Okay, to start our very objective scientific experiment, we have our Dr. Aid thermometer. So let's see if the watermelon will cool me down. I do feel a little bit cooler internally, if you will. You want a piece of watermelon? My temperature is 37.7. It went down two degrees eating watermelon. Either that's an aberration of our data or watermelon is the shit. Which do you think is the um, best cooling food for best hot summer? Cooling food, watermelon. Watermelon? Okay. All right, let's try the musk melon. Does your family eat a lot of fruit? Yes. Yeah, that's a good flavor. Very good. Down 0.3. So it's still going down after the fruit. Now we're trying the cucumber. Does cucumber lower body temperature? We're gonna have to see. You want more? I can eat that whole thing. So it went down a whole 1.5 degrees. That's insane. 1.5 degrees, 0 0.3 degrees, two degrees Celsius. Small sample size, but that's conclusive evidence. <laughs> Let's test the uh, sweet lassie and the buttermilk. I would give you a taste, but uh, the Corona, maybe no good. <laughs> so with the sweet lassie, we're down 0 0.3 again. So the temperature is always going down with these foods. I think with the lassie too, it may have a more long-term effect that I'm probably not gonna be able to have a way to test. All right, let's do the buttermilk. Okay, spiced buttermilk.
37.0, so it went down a little bit again. All right, our final test subject, the tender coconut water. Very delicious drink, great for a hot days, great for taste, super popular in the USA now even. Here, you can have some of that because I didn't take. Cheese. There you go. Mm -hmm. So with the coconut water, my temperature went up 0 0.3. Maybe this doesn't work. Overall though, each of these foods except the coconut water, my temperature went down right away. Some of them like the watermelon went down a lot. Is this conclusive? Not fully, obviously. We'd need a larger sample study, but for me, I know which ones I'm gonna eat when it's hot. Now, one thing I wasn't quite sure of was does spicy food increase your body temperature or lower it? According to Ayurveda, eating spicy food should be avoided because it increases the heat in your digestive tract and raises your body temperature, making you hot. Other studies say that if you eat spicy food, you're gonna sweat. Sweat is your body's cooling mechanism and therefore your body temperature will lower. Let's get to the bottom of this for ourselves. We better make it extra spicy. Second one I'm getting used to. Okay. So consuming spicy food like those peppers can dilate your blood vessels so that similar consuming spicy food. Okay, my body temperature has went up slightly since eating the peppers. They say that people eat spicy food because they cause pain in your body and your body releases endorphins, which is a chemical that makes you happy in response to pain. If that's the case, I'm hoping those endorphins come soon. Okay, another way to stay cool given that this is the land of yoga is a breath technique that supposedly is cooling. Let's see if it is. Now I first learned this technique on the great channel, FitTuber, you may have heard of this guy. I love a lot of what he does and he did a similar video mentioning the Shatali breath and how it gives an instant cooling effect. Check it out. Now bring your tongue all the way out and fold both sides of tongue like a tube or straw. He's not the only one who mentions it. It seems like a popular technique to recommend to cool the body, but does it actually cool the body? Let's give it a try and see. see why this works is because it's mimicking the same effect of an air conditioner so inside you start to feel very cool does it lead to lower body temperatures though my temperature slightly went up it's about the same actually so in this case it didn't cool my body a study also tried to see if shatali breath was cooling it took 17 healthy young men and measured their temperatures before and after doing the breath their body temperatures went up while they were doing the breath then lowered while they were quietly lying down afterwards. But there was no evidence to suggest the breath was cooling. Ah. Now, if we were in America, in some small town, and we asked them, what do you do to stay cool? Well, they'd probably say, I have me a cold beer. Yeah. And they might be right too. So beer has one thing going for it, and that is that the grain in it is astringent. What the heck is astringent? Well. Substances that are astringent dry out cells they come into contact with. These cells will then absorb more water, therefore potentially lowering your body temperature. Beer also has alcohol. Well, not this beer. Alcohol will dilate your blood vessels and it could lower your body temperature then. 36.4. That's a low temperature. But alcohol is difficult to digest, so your body has to work harder to digest it and clear it out of your system because it's toxic. It's not good for you. Don't be drinking that stuff. One thing that I'm excited to try is using different oils to cool yourself. Now, the worst thing for me about the heat, even more so than the heat, is that I often get heat rashes. My skin gets all red and blotchy and bumpy and sticky and itchy and it's not pleasant. But neem oil, put on, is said to do well. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I don't think I did it right. <laughs> Another option is using coconut oil, five to six, six ounces. Put it on about 30 minutes before you take a bath and it has a soothing, calming, cooling effect. Let's see, I'm completely covered in oil. 
Okay, I gotta say the oil and then the shower was nice. After the oil and shower, my temperature is 36.7, which is on the low side. Another thing in America that someone might tell you to do to stay cool would be to eat ice cream. My ice cream melted, so we're gonna have to eat this with a spoon. Still looks good. That was delicious. Now ice cream with all the fat and sugar does raise your body temperature apparently. 36.7, suck on that science. The worst time for me though, when it gets hot in the summertime is when I'm trying to go to bed. Every single day when I first came to India, I used my AC so I could use my blankets to go to sleep. But now I got a couple other economical options to try. Having moist sheets isn't my favorite experience so far, but we're gonna give this a shot. Okay, water on the sheet is not bad. I'd do that if I was super hot though, because the texture's a little bit not great. The water on the curtain didn't do anything because it wasn't that windy, and naps are awesome. One tip that isn't traditionally Indian and is more traditionally Benjamin Jenksian is to use blackout curtains. Keeping the sun out of your room you can drastically lower the temperature. They're also useful if you're want, trying to watch a movie during the middle of the day and want that theater-like effect. It is time to test the mud pot water. Now, first I gotta say, maybe I didn't get the best mud pot. Like, my mud pot is leaking. What's up with that? <laughs> there's no holes in it, but there's water coming out. I don't get that. I also do not get <laughs> what's up with the round bottom. Like, dude, you can't set this down on a, a table. Like, I, uh, okay, all right, I'm going with it. So, mud pot here. Now, let's do this. I got one mud pot and I got one icy cold water. You see that condensation? It's because it's ice cold. You're telling me that icy cold water Oh, so delicious. It's gonna make your body temperature go up, but mud pot water won't. Okay, we're testing that out. I'm a skeptic, I gotta say. I'm not too sure about this. Mud pot water. Now, I just got this mud pot, and I washed it on the inside, which a guy in my audience told me that was not the right thing to do. So, and then I let the water sit for a day, and now we're drinking it. So I hope it doesn't kill me. If it does, it's your fault. It's nice water, it's got a good flavor. I don't know if that's the flavor of the actual distilled water or if it's the mud pot. Okay, we're at 36.3, which means my temp's pretty low from the clay pot. Now the reason why people like the clay pot is because it's alkaline in nature and our body to keep it from being acidic this helps. It helps us have a proper pH, helps us uh, digest stuff because the pH is at the right level from what I'm reading. There's also some pretty fantastical claims that drinking water out of a clay pot can do. Check this out. It boosts metabolism. It balances your testosterone level in your body. It can heal a sore throat. And water in a clay pot can be automatically filtered. So I could put uh, tap water in here and it's automatically gonna filter it in four hours. Okay, you know, um, it's pretty good. I don't know. I'll keep trying. Now let's taste test the ice cold water. So cold, so delicious. Uh, and Ayurveda says that the cold water throws off your digestive uh, system and your body has to work harder to uh, get back to its original uh, temperature or level, and that's not good. 36.4, so my body temperature went up 0.1. It's not a whole lot. Basically, it seems like there's a lot of people, especially in India, who think drinking room temperature water is better for you. There is studies that suggest that that's the case too. However, there are some studies too that say drinking cold water can uh, make you feel cooler. And uh, there are some studies that say it heats you up. What do I know? All that I know, I like it. And for that reason alone, we're saying drink a lot of ice cold water. Now, if you'd like to comment on your opinion on that, please let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please click the like button. And below I included a link to the coconut water on Amazon. If you need that, you can grab it below. Also, FitTuber's video, he's got a few other tips to help keep you cool. You might like comment uh, below in his video 
at us here at Benjamin Jenks so he knows uh, where you're coming from. Thanks, everybody.